it's like a things that didn't even belong to them in the first place. Get my drift. Things that they had taken from others. That others work hard for. That others deserve. But let, let me tell y'all something. When people when people don't have a reason not to like you, right? They don't have a reason to do the things that they do to you. And they, but they do it anyway. And they take this far. They lose. They'll always lose. Okay? Because they always, they always take the initiative to make the wrong decision. And then they're confident in those wrong decisions. That's what makes it even worse. They're arrogant in those wrong decisions. And they know that they're wrong decisions. They know. They know, but they don't care. They don't care until, you know, the SHIT is the fan. So, somebody or a group of people stole something from you. Okay? And I'm feeling right now like it is. It is your inheritance, but we know that your true inheritance cannot be stolen, right? Even if somebody tries, if even somebody ciphers it, they cipher it from you, right? It's always going to come back, and it's going to come back with increase. Get me? It's going to come back with increase. All right. There's a lot of people weeping over things that they've lost that didn't even belong to them in the first place. You know what I'm saying? That guy swiped and took away because it didn't belong to them in the first place. They're thinking, oh yeah, God blessed me with this and this and this and this. But what did you do to receive that? What did you do to... Because God will allow things to happen. Remember, the devil can bless you too. But his blessings don't last. Why? Because they're not his blessings to give. Why? Because he is not the creator and the author of anything. God is the author and the finisher of our faith. God and God only. Whether you know that right now or you don't, it is him. So you taking stuff from other people and then losing it? <laughs> Maybe those wasn't blessings that were yours. Blessings of other people stole. And now it's time to pay up and collect. And those things are going back to the one it's for. And you know another another thing that's happening, a lot of truth is coming out. Regardless, right? It's the end of end of old patterns, old cycles, right? A lot of truth is coming out, right? Whether it's from the person who who committed the the injustice or whether it's from God revealing it himself. But either way, it's going to come out. And I, I believe it would be better for <laughs> better for somebody to hear it from the, from the person or the people that did some shady and foul stuff versus them finding out on their own. Because if I find out on my own, ain't no coming back from that. Especially if I gave you chances to, uh, to relinquish that truth. Right? But you never did. I feel like you can always hide it or that it didn't matter that you didn't bring it up or, or speak about it. But God was going to make you see that it matters. That everything matters. What you do, what decisions you make, what decisions you don't make, it matters. You thinking it doesn't matter is just reckless and irresponsible. Because it matters. So, uh, yeah. 
those of y'all that are having a little lack of issues right now, don't worry about it. Alright, don't worry about it because the shorts is coming back to you. Alright? The shorts is coming back to you. And God ain't gonna let nobody overstep you. Nobody. Right? You already know what God likes to do. He likes to allow people to do things in order to hang themselves. Let's them think that they're intelligent, that they're more acquired and smart to deal with whatever they got going on. Not so. Not so. So, a lot of things are about to be revealed, okay? Whether it's from the one who did it, the ones who did it, or whatever. However it's coming, it needs to come out, it's going to come out. Right? Uh... A lot of you have made your decisions already. You say, you know what? I cut my losses. It's cool. I move on. I'm moving on. It's, it's fine. It's good. I forgive whoever for whatever. It's, it's cool. And that's a good attitude to have. That's a good attitude to have because people hold on to stuff. They hold on to grudges. They hold on to unforgiveness. They hold on all type of stuff, right? When you're not supposed to, you're supposed to feel it, right? Feel the pain you're going through. Feel the emotions and work through it. Don't let it work you. Right? But a lot of y'all just tired. Just tired of waiting on what should uh, what should have already been implemented. Right? What should have already been implemented. You just, you're just tired because you're, <laughs> you're like, okay, so it's never going to come, right? And everybody really need the clarity or but you don't need it. You don't need it. You got the clarity part. You don't need all the details. If you don't know now, you're gonna you'll know it eventually, right? But you'll be done already had moved away from that issue or those people already. And there will be somebody or a group of people coming towards you that have integrity, that have love, that have love and self-respect, right? That know how to treat you. Right? That don't leave you unstuck. That don't play a cat and mouse game with you. Right? Somebody that's an adult, a grown up, and they do an adult and grown up thing. Right? Make adult and <laughs> grown up decisions. Okay? So, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Okay? Whatever this is for, don't even worry about it. Don't give your energy, don't give your time, don't give nothing. Right? People always expect you to do things and always ask you for so much and to come toward, you know, them with help or with an open hand, an olive branch, whatever it is. People always expect you to be the one to, you know, do what you do, right? And that ain't, that ain't so all the time, right? You know when you've done what you can do, right? And it's no longer in your hands. And you get to a point where you're just like, okay, I throw my hands up, I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting, I'm tired of waiting on the truth, I'm tired of waiting on the the, the details. Alright? So don't worry about that, alright? Just keep moving, keep pushing. Keep fighting. Keep rolling. Because remember, the world don't stop. The world gonna keep going. What are you gonna do? They stuck waiting for something that may never come. Are you putting too much? Are you putting too much expectations on people or situations that are going to leave you disappointed? All right? You know people. You know people's character. You know people's uh, their actions, their their intentions. Right? Especially if they're not telling you. That speaks loud all on its own. Alright? So just keep that in mind. Don't be waiting hand and foot on nobody. Don't be waiting for nobody to text you back and respond to you. And all, you got you got your own life to live. Whatever you do. You do. Right? There's some dreamers that, that never act. 
right? There's some dreamers that just fantasize about having happiness and what they want in life. And there are others that are dreamers that act. There are dreamers that take the correct step. There are dreamers that makes their dreams come true. Which one are you? Be a doer of the word. Not just to hear, be a doer. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> but yeah. And beloved, don't even... <laughs> Do you know somebody... I just heard somebody. <laughs> I don't know who you are. Do you know you got suitors out here? Do you know you got suitors out here? You, do, do, obviously, you, you don't know that. You don't know that you have suitors. Let me tell you, I'll be the first to let you know. Okay? The reason you don't notice it is because you're not paying attention. You got your, you got your, you got your uh, attention directed in a, in, in a direction that someone isn't giving you what you need in return. When you got all these other options and uh, possibilities staring you in your face. I'm hearing there's some, I'm hearing, <laughs> I'm hearing there's even somebody who's had a crush on you for the longest time and they just haven't came forward to tell you. They've had a crush on you. You might have been in a relationship before or something or whatever, and they were just respected that, and they didn't never say nothing to you, but they know that you're single. They know that you're not in a relationship. And you know what? For some of you, they know about what happened to you. Like, I don't know if they know, if they know of, like, the people who are involved or that did, did something to you, but they know, like, what happened to you. Right, and they're not—they're not happy with that. They never have been, right? It's like they want to—it's like they want to protect you. Yeah, it's like they want to protect you. It's like they want to shun the world to protect you from any harm or any any damage, right? I'm telling you, so this is somebody that's been watching you, and you have no idea. You have no idea, beloved. I don't know if you ever have a. Uh, I don't know if you have a YouTube channel. I don't know if you have whatever it is, TikTok, Facebook, or you got a ministry or something, or you know, a spiritual channel. Somebody's been watching you that is head over heels for you. And I don't think it's it's not somebody that you've been with before. It's not somebody that you I don't know. I don't think it's your your irregular type. It's something that's somebody that's kind of different, but they match you. They match you. Right? The last person might, they might have matched you, right? On a soul level. But their spirit, their spiritual growth, right? Or lack thereof, they weren't on the same level that you were. And they weren't, and they weren't willing to, at the time to, to, to elevate spiritually. They weren't willing at the time to elevate spiritually. Right? And that that's a person that's in your path. But there's somebody who has been trying to make a move towards you, who is nervous, who you make their palms sweaty. It's, it's cute. <laughs> I think it's cute. It's cute. I think that's cute. Now, being nervous to, to, uh, when you like somebody and you're, you're nervous and stuff and you're, you know, you get all fluttery. It's, I think that's cute. I mean, that means that you, you really like that person, even love. Like, that's what love does to you. It makes you just, it makes you all giddy and just like, uh, yeah, I like that. And can't nothing in the world stop that happiness. Like, I'm telling you, when you in love, can't nothing. And, they, and, and somebody's in love back with you, nothing, nothing can upset that or, or, or interrupt that. Nothing. The connection, nothing can interrupt that. You can get all the wrong voices telling you all the wrong things, but your heart and your mind and your spirit, undeniable, undeniable. All right, so 
know that you got suitors out here, all right? Don't be, don't be boohooing over spilled milk, right? Over somebody who didn't, showed you they didn't want you in the past and are probably showing you that they, <laughs> that they really don't want you now, right? You're not the one who's, who, who, who seeks after, you're the one who is sought after, right? You always do the seeking, you always do the taking care of, you always do the reaching out. It's time for you to sit back and let people reach out to you, let people care for you, let people do for you out of a kind heart, right? So yeah, so somebody, all right, all right, later, peace.